Hey. Hello. This is from Marissa. Something to help her with the bar exam. Okay. It's tomorrow. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Well, maybe you and I could do something to celebrate afterwards. You haven't passed yet. Oh, we will. I'll have to check my calendar. I actually, I think I have plans tomorrow night. But, um, I'll get Marissa. Ouch. Just me, or you're a little chill in here. I know that you like staying at Mommy's. You were there last night. AJ, I got you that new video game you wanted. I thought maybe you could come over to the house. We could have some ice cream. And... Yeah, sure, sure. All right, maybe another time. I miss you. Now, I love you. What are you looking at? Someone who's in a lot of pain. I don't need this right now, Annie. Oh, what, compassion? I heard you on the phone with AJ. And I understand how hard it is. Divorce is a terrible thing for, for kids and for us. AJ wants to be with Marissa. For tonight. But there are going to be nights that he wants to spend alone with his dad, too. You know how much he loves you. All the pain that I've put him through. All the losses that he's had. He's been through a lot. So has Emma. Yeah, but you two are close. Well, it wasn't always like that, though. And there were times where she wanted to spend more time with Ryan, and it really upset me. But then I had to realize it's not about me. It's about this beautiful little girl. And how lucky is she that she has all these people surrounding her that love her so much? I mean, you and Marissa, you're doing the right thing. You're putting aside your differences to be good parents to AJ. I don't feel like such a great parent today. Because AJ took off? On my watch. It wasn't your fault. Kids do that when they're upset sometimes. And what's important is you got them back. Thanks to you. I'm just glad I could help. You know, there was a time when we were on our way to being friends, and I... I hope we can be friends. Never happened. Because JR can't stand the fact that he lost you to me. I'm just making an observation. Doesn't seem like your date with Crystal went off too well. Which kind of follows, considering the father of twins died in the middle of it. Just saying. Yeah, well, you're always just saying something. Look, if you want to investigate me, why don't you just go to Snowshoe Mountain, West Virginia, you'll find out everything you need to know about me. You know, in spite of everything, you handled yourself pretty well. The Yacht Club. Well, PC would have been proud of you. And Dixie. Well, you've been gone for a while. You know, 20 years is a long time. You might want to think about dealing with things, dealing with people a little differently. Now that you're here in Pine Valley. Hi. All right. It's for you. I've got a meeting at the club, but if you want to go over it, you can stop by later. Oh, thanks, Caleb. No problem. God, I've just got so much to catch up on, you know, since everything that's happened with David. Yeah. You'll do great. Yeah, about that celebration tomorrow night? Um, maybe some other time. I am Scott, you and I are probably never gonna trust each other ever again. But the fact of the matter is we need to work together. Yeah, you mean like one big happy family? Yeah, well, something like that. Because a few days ago you were declaring war on me, and now all of a sudden it's what, go team Chandler? Yeah, well, things have changed. Really? I think, I think JR just got a big wake-up call when AJ went missing. Isn't that right? We all love this family and the company. I mean, it's my son's legacy. 
So we have to be strong and protect it from outside attacks. Yeah, and Caleb is still a huge threat. And he'll do anything he can to get Cortland back. Because you tricked him out of it in the first place. Well, let's not play this game, Mr. Nanotech. We've all done our share of shady things for the good of Chandler. I shouldn't have to remind you of that. I have a meeting. Thank you again. It's all gonna work out. He's, he's just been having a hard time with AJ. Oh, yeah, that I get. What I don't buy is a new and improved J.R. Chandler. You know, I, I really think he means it this time. Yeah. You don't know how his mind works, Annie. He'll do anything to come after me, okay? And the only reason that he wants the top spot at Chandler is because he wants... Wants what? Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, hello. He did what? <laughs> yeah, of course he did. <laughs> what? What happened? So much for the family working together. JR's already coming after me. What? What was that call? The first shot. I'm a little early. Well, don't worry about it. Sit down. I want to ask you something. Okay. When I start my practice here, it's going to hit the fan. You mean with JR? Yeah. When I get my company back from him, it's going to start getting ugly. I understand. I'm not sure you do. Are you firing me? No. I'm giving you a chance to quit. Because you don't think that I'll be able to stand up to JR? Well, because you're going through a divorce and you've got a kid together. Yeah, and we're working that out. It's not going to be easy. You think that I don't know that? I'm ready for it. And believe me, after the hell that I've been through, anything will be easier. You had faith in me when not a lot of people did, so if you think that I'm going to just bail on you now and... All right, and if you're working for me, why don't you find out where that guy is who's supposed to meet me here? I'm sure he just got stuck in traffic. All right. Right back. I don't have time for you, Junior. Yeah? Big meeting with one of Chandler's bankers? Nah. Cancel. So, I guess you're not so busy after all. Well, you know there, Caleb, it wasn't so hard. I just threatened to pull all the Chandler business from the bank if they took that meeting with you. I guess they took me seriously. You'll find the same response with the rest of the banks. You see, you can't go against a Chandler in this town. Haven't you learned that? Your daddy's name. That's all you've got, Junior. My father's gone. It's my name now. And I call it a damn good start to send your ass back to the woods. You see, I thought at first you were just a nuisance. Turns out that you're a real threat. So I'm not gonna stand around and wait for you to come after me. I'm coming after you with both barrels blazing. What are you doing? Marissa. My father is dead. Our son was missing, and, and you still have time to pick fights? Look, that's not what I'm doing. Uh, really? Then uh, what would you call it? Good luck with that one, Junior. This conversation between me and my wife. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not going to be your wife for that much longer. Can we talk someplace else? Why? Because I'd like to have an adult conversation without you going off on me. Well, then maybe you should try treating people with respect for a change. Oh, you mean him? No, I mean everyone. Starting with me. I mean, I am trying to pass the bar exam right now, and I would really appreciate it if I could focus on that without having to deal with you, too. Hello? Mr. Chandler, this is uh, Principal Hayes from AJ School. Yes, hello. Uh, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, your son's been in a fight. Uh, AJ's fine, but the other boys hurt pretty bad. He's been taken to the hospital. I see. Now, apparently this isn't the first time this has happened since school started. Uh, would you and your wife mind coming in so we can discuss this? I'll be right there. Thank you. Goodbye.
I have to head to the office. Bye. I'll always be one step ahead of you. I'll be the first one off the cliff.